All right, in this video, I'm going to mix it up a bit and do a restoration and seasoning on this old cast iron pan. This is one that we use for camping. It definitely gets abused, and you definitely wouldn't want to eat out of it the way that it is. I'm going to use some Scotch Brite pads for restoring it. You could also use something like steel wool, a bunch of other products you could probably use that would work just fine. And I have dishwashing liquid. It's Norwex, but that doesn't matter. Anything would work. So initially, all I'm going to do is use soap, water, the Scotch-Brite pad, and I'm just going to try and scrub all of the rust from every surface of this thing. So not just inside, but also the back side as well as the handle. There are other things you can try as well, such as using vinegar, um, like I said, steel wool, really anything that can scrub it off. Obviously, it's cast iron, so it is difficult to damage. As long as you don't scrape it up or, or do anything ridiculous with it, it should be fine. And if you're going to use something like vinegar or whatever, use the water right away and rinse it all off. So after scrubbing it for a while, uh, I'm just going to rinse it off, get all this rusty soap off of it. And I'm going to do that a few times, but in the interest of keeping the video quite a bit shorter, I'll only show that one time here. So I do scrub it down a few times. And once I'm happy that all the rust is off, I'm just going to put some crazy hot water in the pan, basically make it as hot as I can. And that'll help make sure that all the water dries off the pan very quickly and doesn't sit on it. And that's what it looks like after a pretty reasonably good scrubbing. So just before I put the oil in to season this thing, I'm going to put it on preheat to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And while it's heating up, I'll just get everything ready. So I'm using a small cookie sheet and some tin foil so that I don't get oil cooked right into the cookie sheet. Because obviously it's going in for 500 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to put it in for an hour at a time. The oil that I'm using is, doesn't matter, it's organic, but uh, flax oil, flax seed oil. I found this in the refrigerator aisle in the health food section of the supermarket, not in the regular food oils like the uh, olive oil section. So I'm going to put everything in fast motion as much as possible. I'm going to dump the oil directly into the pan and then I'm just going to take some paper towel and rub it around a little bit. I'm going to throw a little bit more oil and just generally getting it very oil well oiled up on the inside of the pan and then I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to do the exact same thing but on the outside of the pan as well. So just like on the inside, I'm just going to pour the oil straight onto it and then just rub it around for a while. Uh, you can't really see it in this shot, but I do also oil up the handle, basically oil up every surface of the pan. Once it's all oiled up, I'm just going to take another piece of paper towel, this time obviously not oily, and I'm going to wipe off as much of the oil as I can so there's no pools of oil sitting in the pan, basically make it look pretty dry. Once it's been oiled up and then wiped down, it's ready to go in the oven. And like I mentioned, I do put it into the oven for one hour each time that I do the oiling process. So I am going to turn it off. It is almost 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just going to let the pan cool down in the oven overnight and then I'll come at it in the morning. So the next morning, once again, I'll put the oven back to 500 Fahrenheit and I'm going to oil this down one more time. You see it's looking a lot better than it was initially. And I'll put this at uh, four times motion this time. Once again, same deal, take the flax seed oil, dump it straight in the pan, rub it down, get the handle, basically get every surface, make it good and oily, and allow the oil to sink in for a few seconds. I'll then take a fresh sheet of paper towel and just soak up as much of the oil as I can. You don't want that oil to burn on, you just want to get it seasoned. And I'll do it one more time in five times speed motion. I, I didn't show the pan coming out of the oven, but again, it was at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, one hour, and that's what it looked like coming out. So I'll oil it up again. Once again, wipe it down with a fresh sheet of paper towel 
and I'm going to toss it into the oven for a third time at, at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So there it is after three cycles through the oven for one hour at 500 degrees Fahrenheit using flaxseed oil. And there's a side by side with the rusty version of it from the night before. The job takes a while because you got to heat it up for an hour, but obviously you don't have to stand and watch it while you're doing that. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.